Hello everyone, my name is Aiki, and welcome back to Persona 3, The Answer. I almost said FES there. But before we get started with exploring the Abyss of Time, I think I want to go walk around the dorm, check out some of the areas and stuff for a bit, and then we'll talk to the party members and see who we should take with us on our journey. Okay, we can still buy some Cielo Mist, but I don't have any money. Let's also take a look at the status screen here. So we have Dia, Aggie, and Salt Dive. We're starting off with Orpheus here. Let's see. Based on the principles using Orgia mode. The armor that we start off with isn't that bad. So, that's nice. And I don't think we have any items. Yep. And let's also take a look at the... Oh, so we can't access the calendar quest or fusion spells. Okay, that's nice to know. Ken's room. Shinjiro's room. Junpei's room. Akihiko's room. And that's a little... ominous. Oh, it's his old room. Huh. The doorknob won't budge, huh? That's... weird. Alright, let's check out the girls' rooms. Maybe I can actually go into my room now. Mitsuru's room... Fuka's room. Oh. Can't even go into my own room. Alright, let's head up to the fourth floor and see if we can access the command room. We can. Is there going to be... No. It looks like they turned off the monitoring system. So we don't have to be worried about being spied on. You know, it is kind of interesting, or not interesting, it's kind of... It's kind of fun running the way Igus does, like with her arms out back. It's almost as if she's a ninja. And wow. So did did anyone else find it weird that we have um, a basement right under our table? No. Okay, Mitsuru. With time skipping like this, I don't think waiting around will solve anything. Yeah. Yep, we've saved the world once, we can do it again. I'm interested to find out what's on those documents that they keep talking about. Yeah. I don't seem to be able to activate it, so... At least I got this sweet new armor to protect myself. Okay, so we have Yukari, who's gone down in levels. Makes sense. And that's it. Well, I guess I could check everyone, but... Let's go ahead and talk to Yukari. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably need you. All right, let's go. How are you doing, Ken? Yeah. All right, so Ken tries to explain why he's suddenly so much weaker. Yeah, let's talk. Spread underneath this area like the roots of a tree. 
So this is about the abyss of time. Okay. The desert of doors. Oh no. That's gonna be quite confusing. A long weapon designed for maximum power. Yeah, and her persona is called Psyche. That's what I thought I heard. Garula. Hmm. But then you overlap with Yukari. That's okay, I guess. Yeah. Not only that, but I think... I think his persona went back to being Hermes. Oh, I can't even talk to Koromaru anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the Velvet Room. And then we'll head downstairs and see what awaits us. The birthplace of new personas. Okay. What's wrong? 170. Alright, so basically, I can fuse just as many personas as I could before, but I only have Orpheus at the moment, so... We're just gonna leave, and we'll be back later. And I guess we're ready. Let's head downstairs. Huh? What was that? I thought I saw a shadow move into the door. Couldn't get a good look at it, though. Yep, yeah, okay, so we have Metis, Yukari, and Akihiko with us. And there's a whole number of doors, but luckily this one is glowing. Yeah. Must be an enemy. Let's go. Huh. The shadows are here. All right. This almost looks like the inside of um almost a church. Well, not, maybe not a church, it's almost like a temple. Okay. We could go down, or we could try a fight here. See what everyone can do. Oh, I must explain my Orgia mode to you. Yes, please. Just like you, sister, I'm able to go into Orgia mode. My limiter will be temporarily disabled. As a result, my offensive capabilities will increase dramatically. However, I won't be able to listen to your orders. Also, Orgia mode only lasts for a short time. I'll eventually overheat and become immobile. It takes time for my system to cool down again. So it's important to use it only at the right moment. That's all. Do you want me to explain it again? Nope. Basically, it's the exact same. The command to activate Orgia mode can be accessed via tactics. Let me know when you want to use it. Sounds good. Neo Orgia mode. Metis' Orgia mode is different from or Aegis's. Metis' mode lasts longer, and for the duration, there is no SP or HP cost. Okay. So, Aegis in the... I guess his Orgia mode lets her basically do more damage and just go all out, but Metis's allows her to do things without costing resources, which is pretty nice. Give me a 
Alright, let's go ahead and just take out one at a time. Let's try Aggie. Alright, we should be good here then. lines and let's start getting new personas if I think it was this one good the speed caught me off guard there for a moment all right let's head downwards This is called Mailbulb. Mailbulge. Malibulb. Be careful. Those four are powerful. Yeah. I'll scan the target. Okay, this is going to be a little interesting. I could try Mazio, but something tells me they're probably weak to ice. And I don't have Mitsuru, so... Nope. This could be game over. It seems Hama skills work well on this one. Yeah, I don't have... I don't have Ken with me. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to run, because I sense... I sense defeat here. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna win. I'm going under the impression that this is probably similar to our hard mode in the last game, so they probably could have one-shotted me, which is why I wanted to run there. A rare form. Destroy it. That works. That was easy. Okay, that's gonna give us some good money if we need to buy equipment later though I'm not sure there's even gonna be a shop all right let's try to take one out Multiple weaknesses. Okay, fire. I won't miss. You got it. This thing won't give up. My will to support my power. Nice. Okay. Ooh. I'm liking what I see so far from Metis. Good job. Okay, we could get a Shiga, but we're not high enough level. Or not Shiga, it's um Shisa. Gotta be real careful here. 
let's try to keep our wipes to a minimum this time. Okay, this should be easy. Right now, I'm concerned with getting as many personas as I possibly can because I, I want to be able to uh, cover all of the weaknesses as fast as possible. All of the elements, I mean. Be careful to watch everyone's stamina. Okay. Yeah, no, no problems. I think they'll be all right for now. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, nope, nope. Let's reset him. Hopefully that's far enough. Yep. There are two strong enemies. I wonder if I can equip other weapons or if I just use guns. So I don't really see much reason to use anything other than her guns, because they are pretty powerful. Okay. Let's at least take one out. That's a new persona. What is this? Empusa. I did not have an Empusa or even see one in the first game. So that's interesting. And just like I did with the last series, I am when we get to a higher level. And when everything is sort of established, we have all our personas and stuff. I'm going to just start cutting off battles uh, when the battles become too long and repetitive. But right now, I think we're okay with leaving them in. Since we're still struggling to one-shot things, it's going to be interesting. I found in the first game that the beginning was actually probably one of the hardest parts of the entire game, just because you didn't have those overpowered personas that could kill everything in one hit. Like, you didn't have Beelzebub, you didn't have Sibeli, all you had was Jack Frost and... This thing won't give up. The little guys. So once I can get my lineup established, it's probably going to get a little more comfortable. Of course, that's assuming that the bosses don't completely destroy me. Okay. Having a narcissist is good. That means we have Charm, I think. And we got a new enemy here. Okay, 
Yeah, probably should have expected that. I couldn't finish it all. It's weak. All right. I won't lose. I'm gonna see if Empusa has ice. Let's see. I don't think. No, that doesn't. Nope. Empusa is Magaru. That's Magaru. Okay. That's Magaru then. Two more enemies to go. Persona. At least kill one, please. Menace defeated an enemy. Good job. I think we got pretty lucky there. That they didn't attack me. Okay, we got Naga. Or maybe not. Nope. No Naga. That's okay. We did get a new weapon for Akihiko. That's gonna be helpful. Three enemies. You've surprised. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. All right. So. If I recall correctly, I think the book is also weak to fire. Persona! That's it! The enemy is down! But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have them attack and kill this thing, because I don't have ice. Persona! Nope, not weak to fire. Okay, it's Zio. I won't miss. This thing won't give up. Three enemies left. Please be careful. Okay, so I'll go switch to Take Minakata. Keep it up. One more. And we'll just finish you off. Nice hit. The enemy. Is she way higher level than everyone else? Because she's very clearly doing a lot more damage. I'm probably going to keep Metis in my party for maybe even the majority of the game. Just because I kind of want to give her a lot of screen time since she's the new character and everyone else has sort of had their time to shine already. Though I guess you can argue I didn't really use Koromaru that much in the last game. Alright, let's get Yukari to heal everyone up. Let's see if we can find these stairs here. Here we go. Alright. And this is going to be a good place for us to stop for today. In the next episode, we will continue on exploring through Mailbolg, or Malibolgi, however you want to pronounce it. And we're going to see what lies at the end of this doorway. Was it a shadow that we saw? I don't know. But find out next time. I'll see you guys then.